Greetings everybody, Radaman here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, Episode 9, The True Throne. One of the donkeys has the food on them. So as soon as fire flies up, I'll make sure to get the pemmican from bad weather. Oh, I missed a pet Yoda, didn't I? What are you even doing back there, dude? I... You need to relax. All right, Firefly. Good. You did eat. And meditating in the morning. That's fine. Stutatch, thank you for the resub. And a Manhunter pack and a Solar Flare. Oh, it's not good for these two. They are next to the Manhunter pack. Who is closest to the Southern Gate, Kynan? Well, this isn't my fault. Do feel badly. Alright, give you just one more minute to vote on that. These two are probably... Yeah, they're not savable. They're bleeding out way too quickly. So we have uh, six Timberwolves coming in. I also happen to have six Spike Traps. Eighteen hours on these. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. Bye. Bye, wolves. Thunk. Hey, Agent Stormy. Thank you for the resub. And we are building a throne room by like one vote. All right. This is probably still worth Firefly's time. Brady, you can't cut trees either, can you? We have one and a half days left for that ritual. And of course, it would be really good if Brady and Firefly was home. Uh, but that's when the ritual starts. That's not the end date of the ritual. So there's still end time uh, to fulfill it. Amon Ra's meditation focus is slightly below 50%. So that he doesn't really have to spend a lot of time meditating. He can be researching or doing other things. Crafting, etc. In fact, I'm going to set his tailor to a higher priority than his research so that he can make the clothing that we require. The tribal wear. Shouldn't I close the kitchen doors? Uh, for what purpose?
All right, it's late enough, and I think we've waited long enough that I am going to leave here and head home. I wish I was able to grab more, but uh, they're just taking too long. Keeping hot air out? Well, we there is no ref refrigeration, so... There is no uh, amount of hot air that would change the temperature of the room to cause the food to spoil faster. So the doors don't matter at all. In fact, it's not even a fueled passive cooler. I would go so far as to say I could just destroy the passive cooler because it really isn't serving any purpose at all. The only time you'd ever want a passive cooler is if uh, you had beer brewing and it needed to be a very specific temperature. Firefly and Brady are home. Awesome. Yeah, so the long and short of it is passive coolers can never get cold enough for an area to ever be considered refrigerated. So there's no point in closing doors because there is just three spoil rates in RimWorld, which is frozen, refrigerated, and neither frozen nor refrigerated. And a passive cooler will not refrigerate or freeze food. So all the passive cooler does is make sure that uh, temperatures don't exceed a certain high threshold for things like bio, biosolid composters. Because a biosolid composter does need to be a specific temperature in order to compost. So, for instance, right now, um, it's too cold in this composting room to actually compost these biosolids. But it doesn't really matter because I have so many biosolids that it's moot. But if there was a heat wave, yeah. If there was a heat wave, I might want to... Um, I might want to put passive coolers down to make sure that my people don't overheat in a um, in a dangerous way. But that's that's uh, that's totally different than what we've been talking about. Why start a social fight with the dude with a massive club and a really high capacity for violence. That sounds like a ridiculously terrible idea. So at this point, let's try out this side cast. Chunk skip. I just warped in these slate chunks from potentially over here with magic. Oh, wow, you've been busy. Killing the coyotes, have you? All right, the animals in the pen are very hungry. And I'm going to toss them some of the hay that I had harvested from here. Because otherwise they starve. Alright, Macho, I want you to turn this into pristine limestone so we can actually finish these bathrooms. Boop. And then we could start working towards the throne room.
Man, they already ate all the hay? My goodness. There, they can eat this pemmican too. I suppose that's fine. Updating the goals. Build a throne room and research electricity. So Shell Bell. Yeah, you're not so much of a fan of Brady. It's going to be a bit of an issue, I think. All right, let's tend to them both so that they're healed up, though. Should I run a caravan to a neighbor? Yes or no? Amun-Ra has a trade inspiration. So there's an opportunity potentially to run a caravan to a nearby neighbor. Uh, if you all think that that's something I should spend my time doing. I think, nope, they're not a guest. I really haven't had any guests in a while. I've been treating my guests pretty well, I, I feel like uh, that's the case at least. How do my clubs compare to the Thrumbo Horns? Sure, let's take a look. So this has a DPS of 11 Point four, let's say, with an armor pen of 46. And this is 10.5 with a 41 armor pen. They're inferior. I mean, they're probably better than Marvelous Mike's Steel Spear. Um, but they sell for a heck of a lot more than the Steel Spear does. So they're better to sell, in my opinion, than to, uh, to equip. Ah, it's tree time. I thought I had more than four anima, anima grass. Okay, we also expect the Opet Festival. And I have enough Neil pillows. So as soon as Amara's up, he'll... Oh, he's up. I'll let him eat, and we'll kick off this festival. Okay, uh... Pretty sure that's something I had already done. Looks like I need to do it multiple times. And it looks like I should caravan to a nearby neighbor. The intention of caravanning to a nearby neighbor is to use up Amun Ra's uh, trade inspiration so that I can buy the things that are desperately needed in our colony and sell the things that aren't. And it was a fun festival, but nobody randomly joined us. That's too bad. All right, Mr. Ra. The closest would be Red Bris... Uh, how far is that?
All right, I'm also going to bring Brady with me. And what do we bring them? We'll bring them the... <laughs> bring them a bunch of bile solids. Uh, I would like to. Bring the silver, the thrumblehorn. Um... Some, uh, yeah, I'll probably use those for carpeting, so I'm going to leave those alone. One more fine meal. And 3,000 biosolids. The reason for all the biosolids, I plan on just dumping them. I'm going to high priority haul so that people load up the caravan quickly. Are my guest settings wrong? No, I don't think so. Allow new guests, yes. Guests may arrive. Yeah. It's it's set correctly. They just haven't chosen to show up. And all the beds are for zero dollars. Oh, that is not my caravan pack spot. All right, let me uh, cancel this. Because I needed to place this caravan pack spot beforehand. Well, I'll, I'll head out tomorrow morning. I think that uh, given the time, that might be wise. Oh, that's the wrong torch. Some of these drag trees are ready. A huge bottleneck that we have is just we don't have a lot of colonists that do plant work. And the only one that does is so busy cooking that they're just not able to do a lot of plant work. Uh, what I could try to do is to cover the cooking with someone else, like Marvelous Mike, who could at least get some simple meals out. Allowing Shell Bell to do plant work that is long overdue. So I'm really hoping that we have a plant work person to join us soon. Let's try this caravan again. Silver, rumble horn, enough food for the trip, and then just a bunch of biosolids that we're going to dump. these grasses are dying due to a lack of uh, like sunlight or something. I'm going to uh, change the area a little bit because I feel like we've been I'll have to keep a track on that. That we are uh, at four grass and hopefully it remains climbing.
Okay, we're off. So that was the last of the jade here, and luckily none of it is overhead mountain. Shell Belt is back to harvesting and planting. So we're going to get the wood that we need, I hope. So we have a lot of fully grown Drago trees here. Still cutting blocks from far and wide. And this excess of blocks will help us to construct large projects when it comes time. I still have these blocks out here yet to be hauled as well. Amon Ra and Brady are heading up to what I think is the closest. Let me check route times. 1.6, 1.1, 1.5, 1.7. Of course, these are hostile. And they're, I believe, permanently hostile. That's Bonzo. Yeah, permanently they're cannibalistic tribes. So I'm never going to really be able to trade with these guys. The other question is... Oh, all these uh, logging sites are Brebor, which is a ally, gentle tribe of ours. Same with the the hunting site is the Sarah Covenant. I have no idea who they are because they're not on this list. So they're a temporary tribe. But we don't really need hunting. That's not what we're most lacking. And here is where the throne room is going to go. And we do have a visitor. Finally. Yeah. Involuntary hermit. Well, hey, you're out and about, Riesling. You bring cock crocodile eggs. Disturbing. Body modder, misandrist, nimble. And they're going to be a guest of ours. I'm not going to bother creating friendships on this one, just entertaining them. I don't think that this is someone that we're going to want to add. So no point in making friends. Okay, five grass and hopefully climbing. We are a third of a day away from Amon Ra's caravan. Guarded by Bastet's guardian, seems fitting. Still working on this throne room. So I had broken down the walls, but not this one, so it can hold up the roof. Because I intend to replace the walls with jade. And then these columns can hold up the roof so that I can get rid of this wall segment here. Oh, you bought uh, Riesling bought clothing that I think you're wearing, actually. Nice. Checking in on the guest zone again, making sure that they're up to date. And I believe they are. So guests are going to be allowed on the avenue. And up to the ritual room, but not inside. And then to their own bedrooms, shopping area, and bathrooms, and kitchen. That seems correct to me. Trade. Oh, 
Uh, I'm gonna trade the the foal that got born on the trip away. So they don't want to buy Thrumbo Horns. I should have dumped the Biosolids. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, that's a bit of a problem because there's really not a whole lot that we're going to want to take off them. So I'm going to cancel this for now. And then items. Dump. Biosolids. We would have been a lot faster had we been not uh, hauling poo with us. Oh well. So I'm mostly here to buy potentially just the wood. As that keeps our colony running. 300. Okay, so maybe 375 wood. Or 385. Nope, 380. Okay, 380 wood. And. Except. I don't want uh, guests meditating at the tree. It's not their tree to meditate at, it's ours. All right, and return to her home. Caravan home in one day with 380 wood. So Shell Bell being freed up not to cook. We do have more Drago trees in here, which is good. I'll keep queuing up the ones that are inside our walls to be cut. So they are not willing to buy Thrumbo. I'm going to move on. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to be willing to buy Thrumbo. It's kind of a really expensive item to just hold on to, but not have any reason to keep. This is quite the jade throne room so far. Hoping to get the brazier lit so we can actually see what we're doing. And Riesling. Your hospitality is very high. That's pretty much what we want. And I'm getting rid of the corners here. And then I'll probably be out of jade. I don't think I have enough jade to finish up. But at least the throne room's southern wall will be all set. Oh, and we have another goat. Raffle timer's up for that. Oh, two goats. One hour old. Three hours old. They're not even twins. That's just how many goats we're getting. Okay, they're home in half a day, so they should be home sometime today. We're up to almost six grass. And this fourth weather is... Two days left. The art that we're crafting is finally getting... Nicer. I think I'm actually going to break down this poor sculpture. I think poor art really has no place in our colony, so hopefully we'll phase all of the poor art out at some point. Almost home. Alright, Shellbell, are you? Yeah, you're farming. Um, let's switch this over to corn as well. So these hops we're going to make into wort. It's pretty comfortable temperature outside, so I don't think I need to worry about the fermentation barrels going belly up. So I'm going to put some fermentation barrels in the kitchen here. And just keep an eye on it. Make sure that it, the temperatures in there stay stable. But I think they should be okay.
Oh, I already have... There we go. Pops. Goes right next to the brewery. And then when we make it, we can just drop the wort. Almond Ra and Brady are home. Good. And then I'll really try to make an effort to get the throne room pushed forward. Somehow, I think we had the wood on us. Oh man, look at what he's carrying. He's carrying uh, 176 kilos worth of stuff. Maybe he is a god. Because uh, uh, I can't explain that otherwise. <laughs> Well, that should be really good wood in order to get the lights on and everything built. Marvelous Mike, you want to look a bit different. I think you want to lose your tattoos. The other thing is we're starting to get Tinctoria here. I guess I don't really have a zone for Tinctoria, but we do have the styling station over here, so I should put a stockpile of dyes here. so that we can very quickly change how we look. Ooh, a gift of 15, okay. Well, you know, see here, it's a very generous gift, but you've woken me up. Because now I have to go haul it. Uh, not there. So let's go up here and allow industrialized medicine to be squirreled away. And more gifts are coming in. Oh, three naked guests. So the temperature is going to be a bit concerning for them because they are going to be more temperature sensitive than our normal guests. All right, goats. Frost lamb. That's a very strange name for a goat. You'll be baby goat one. And baby goat two. Going to Magenta Fairy. Congrats to the both of you. Magenta Fairy, I think you have a habit of winning animals. The last one was what I just named, what, Fairy? But there's a pattern here. Okay, uh, once this is refueled, what flooring should I have in the throne room? Carpet, stone, mix of carpet and stone. What do you guys think? So in terms of the floors that we're able to make, I don't have carpet making researched yet. We're working on electricity. Um, so it's hard to envision what that would look like until I have it unlocked. But what I do know I need is a th grand pristine throne here. Which we're going to need to start working on. Amon Ra can interestingly help considerably uh, because he can just teleport chunks to where the chunks need to get cut, so I'm going to have him set that up. I think I just skipped the chunk that Firefly was cutting. Cool. That makes sense. And here he is, meditating now, for his own Psy Focus to go up.
I have too many animals. Well, uh, when I get hungry, I know what I'm gonna do. So these new guests, let's take a look. Gakum, Quick Sleeper Gourmand Sickly, Medical Mining Cook, and we are trying to entertain and create friendships. Then we also have Noxo, Nudist Neurotic. Good at plants, though. Might be a recruit. And then Bricka. Night Owl Jogger. Cooking, melee, etc. Not doctor. Uh, can I craft clothing for them to potentially buy? Yeah, there's clothing for them to buy right here already. So maybe they just buy that clothing. We'll see. So you've already automatically changed. Okay. Mix of carpet and stone. You got it. You look like a Chad. You, you do have a certain Chad-esque appearance to yourself. I feel like I'm going to need a little monkey to follow me around if I dye myself pure yellow. But okay. A curious little monkey. So the pristine limestone grand meditation throne is started. Yoink. There's some free marble coming from I don't even know where. Making some tribal wear for ourselves. Oh. Yet another sculpture. Should I aim to recruit the farming guest? Yes or no? So I think of all of the three, Noxo, the neurotic nudist, would be choice recruit because we really need another farmer. Um, but it's up to you whether you think they're a good fit or not. So they have a leg scar. They're not capable of social. And in order to sort of sway them, uh, I think I need to put, maybe I'll have Macho do the wardening and entertaining as well. Thomas Rouse, thank you for the resub. Oh, and I missed puppy treats. And comrade Alexi, thank you for the follow. Orange Chaos for the community gifted sub and the resub as well. And Zephy too. I'm bad at reading. leave those off. Maybe I'll just make it simple. I could do additional improvement projects over time. So if we're doing a mix of stone, well, I'll try to get this refueled so that I can actually see what construction we're doing. This throne room's taken a while, but one could have assumed that would be the case. Still have a little bit of excess wood, which is good. And as soon as Macho converts 
All right, seven grass, that's good. I think it's working. And the weather controller is no longer controlling the weather, so it will clear up. Look at this group activity. So we have one, two, three, five. Plus eight, nine, 10, 15 spots for grass in this configuration. Might need more. And it looks like you guys want me to try to like, recruit the farming guest. So let's take a look at the guests here. Um, make friends with only Noxo. And Noxo requires three friends, so one more friend and we're done. Fingers crossed, we'll be able to do it. So far, we've mostly done mosaics. In here, because we have a lot of slate, I might do some slate mosaics, and then when we have the ability to make carpets, I'll mix it up. Lady Stormguard, thank you for the reset. I don't even have enough travel wear. Garenin just keeps cranking out the uh, the sculptures here. Which is fine. I think this might be the last one I queue up for a while because we're going to need the marble for other uh, uses. There's some more marble. Gifts from our god. Everything is sewn, which is really good. Uh, let's go ahead and place a double strand zone. I'm gonna have it be extra large for 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 reasons. This is a big sprout. Right, there's definitely not enough food in this pen. That much is, uh, Guaranteed the amount of animals that we're getting is a little a little rough to feed All right coming down here we'll convert this to pristine Did we just convert a whole lot of stuff that wasn't limestone to pristine Like I think that that's what happened and I have to keep an eye on that Make sure to uh, separate them out considerably, because I'm pretty sure we just magically, yeah, that's what we did. Cool. Well, I guess it's good to know. Hey, pernicious pasty. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, resub as well. Are we going to have donkey burgers? Well, I think of all the animals that we have, the donkeys are probably the most productive in the colony. So donkey burger burgers might not make sense. I'm going to work drive Macho. Get him to work a little bit faster. And we are up to eight grass and climbing. Oh, I disabled cutting, not sewing. Let me take a look at that. There. Luckily, there's so many farming tasks that uh, the likelihood of them coming out there and actually doing that is pretty low. And here we go. 
Noxil has been recruited. So Noxil is a nudist, and uh, if possible, I'm going to keep them nude because they'll make them happy. So clear all. Nudists can still wear uh, headwear, so I'm going to allow toques, shade cones only. That's mostly for temperature. Uh, keep them above 51%, and then disallow tainted apparel. Now, she is not uh, of our ideology, which means that she could use bows, and it wouldn't be against the rules. Um, I don't think that that's the route I'm going to take anyway, though. And hopefully we get her converted anyway. So here's the give giveaway for Noxil. So good luck to all of you. Uh, let me reset eligibility. There we go. And anyone that uh, even has like farm animals, you could still uh, win Noxo. So a conversion ritual here would maybe work. And I'm going to trigger that as a way to welcome in our brand new member. The chief has been angered, but I had plenty of um, plenty of positive interactions with them. So they're angered, but we're still well above uh, zero. Well, negative 50 or whatever. We're still not hostile, I guess is the point. And then Noxo, you're going to be given the Forbidden Zone so that you can't possibly go into the Forbidden area there. That you're not supposed to know what's in there. And then you will be given work priorities of farming, like, like that's it. You might have other skills, but I don't really care, because I need farmers like you would not believe. So Noxo has gone through an effective conversion ritual, only bringing the Mabrinism down to 66%. Let's try to also convert to... 36%. Nice. And here comes the Devil Strand. Mud Complex. And Devin to Dude. Thank you for the subs. And uh, Fuirago as well. Oh, here comes the Throne Room. And a gift of a revolver. Okay, really? Where did you put the revolver? On the chair. Sorry, Amun Ra. You have more hauling to do. Where'd you get that? Who gave that to you? Note to self. Sell the revolver soon. Um, yeah, okay. Member died. Am I to blame? <sighs> yeah. Cheetah. You ain't exactly making my life easy here, trying to make friends. So, get bent. Oh! Noxo has converted already. Well, uh, wow. That was extraordinarily fast. I think they went from 100% to 0% in a day. Cool. Uh, that also means that they're not going to be allowed to use any ranged weapons. Well, I got herbal and <laughs> some stuff out of that. Some peas. And shovel. Oh, you already have. You just used convert. Never mind. All right. One cheated down. You've got about a minute left on the uh, raffle timer there. Throne room's coming together. I'm still working on the research. Whoa. All of that got sewn. Hey oh, looks like we're actually doing a good job here now. So limestone, I'm gonna move you across the street and down the way so that I don't accidentally nuke other stones, because I do like 
the variety of stone. And I'm going to do a high priority haul uh, for a bit to just get things sorted. Noxo is going to require a bed, aren't you? You're probably sleeping on the ground, aren't you? Yeah, yes you are. Is there a better than this one? Oh, and frankly, this one too. Good luck. And congratulations to McSqueakums. I'm going to call you Squeakums. If that's alright. If you want to change your name, just let me know. But you are one very happy person. hopefully oh we'll also need to get rid of those tattoos that's not what we're about but at least you're not going to require any you're not going to require any um <laughs> clothing dyes oh you didn't do it did you Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, which originally streamed live on Twitch, May 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has the links to Twitch and also the countdown timer to upcoming streams, as well as my YouTube schedule. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.